Welcome to my history. This is a multi-part series in which I'll reveal my own personal history with being an artist and being creative. I've always had a strong desire to document things about my life, but for the most part, my old art has been lost to me over the many moves that I've made from home to home over the years. However, I've created a lot of art over the last few years, and I want to share that with you if I can. Some of the newer pieces have already been seen in the most recent videos on my channel, so I want to reveal or rediscover my older art, and I hope you'll enjoy this chronological history while I show it off. I have a long and happy history with creativity. Art was something that I had an implicit urge to do, something that stretches back so far in time in my own personal history that it encompasses some of my very earliest memories. The first drawings I can remember making in more or less vivid color would be the amusement parks. I would spend hours drawing up these parks with all kinds of rides and buildings and lots of little patrons walking around and having a great time. The pictures are lost to time now, but this idea spread into me creating these big compounds out of trading cards. I love to spend time making maps and fences on the carpet. These were sprawling structures that covered a large section of the floor and looked amazing to me. At some indeterminate point in the past, I fell out of making them, but these memories have stayed with me. I think that's why I like abstract art so much. It gives me the chance to create strange places, windows into other worlds and planes. Complexity has always had an allure, and strange alien worlds would probably feel very complex to us as a species. I feel like most people tend to stay close to what's familiar, and I guess abstract art has a familiarity to me in all of its layers of weirdness. It can be as simple or as bizarre as you want. No one can tell you an abstract piece is wrong. Instead, I like to see what other people see in my pieces. It's like looking at a cloud and asking, what do you see? Chances are, it might be very different from what I see, and I like that. My early interest in art followed me into middle school, which eventually led me to audition for the Las Vegas Academy of International Studies and Performing Arts. LVA was a game changer for me. My art was mostly based around copying from a distance, where I would set a piece of paper next to the art I wanted to draw and try to recreate it as closely as I could. I remember drawing pictures of Scooby-Doo and Shaggy in fourth grade and trying to sell them in this classroom swap meet. Everybody had something to sell, but I was there with my drawings. I don't think I sold a single one, but practicing in the way I did really helped to increase my ability enough to start copying from real life subjects. The only one that I still remember to this day was when I drew a picture of Dan Marino from the Miami Dolphins. I don't know if it was just because he was in Ace Ventura Pet Detective or because my dad likes football, but I drew a picture of Dan Marino getting ready to throw the ball. He looked really cool in his big shoulder pads and football helmet. I remember drawing that helmet. I'm not sure why that particular detail sticks out, but it was probably something to do with the face mask of the helmet being so strange to try to draw, since it broke the lines of the face up. The fingers were hard too, but hands have never been one of my strong suits. <laughs> 